All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight matchup between Tony Ferguson and Edson Barboza. So here he is, MMA's human highlight film, Edson Jr. Barboza. When he knocked out Terry Adam with that wheel kick at UFC 142, I thought the arena was going <laughs> to crumble to the ground. I have never felt an arena shake like that before, and it's been one highlight after the next for Barboza ever since. And that highlight, that kick, will be shown long after Edson Barboza is done fighting. It's one of those things that will stand the test of time. And it's because he's able to set things up in so many different ways, from the body kicks, to the leg kicks, to the great hands. That's why Terry Adam didn't see that. There's no wind-up to anything right. that Edson Barbosa ever does. He's one of the most brutalizing strikers that we've ever seen step foot in the octagon. And the only thing that has eluded him, of course, is a UFC title. Let's see if he can move towards that goal with another win here tonight. All right, so here he is, the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson. And here's a guy who a lot of these fellow lightweights believe represents the toughest matchup for them. Just hard to know what's coming. Truly a 5 tool player, and he will look to put all those skills to good use yet again here tonight. I mean, you point to the Josh Thompson fight, and the beautiful elbow that he landed to split him open, and it shows you the diversity of Tony Ferguson. And you have to remember, he was a national champion at Grand Valley State University. Right. So if he needs to, he can be a guy that has the ability to take you down and just brutalize you on the ground. Not only brutalize you, but he has a great ability to submit his opponent as he showed when he won the title fight, Kevin Lee. And he is most happy when he's in a fight, right? Certainly a guy who loves to train as is well documented. Just the way he attacked the knee injury rehabilitation just shows you his true colors. And I know I speak for the MMA fans around the world. Very happy to see El Kukui back in the octagon here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 11 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Edson Junior Barbosa! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! All right, go into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, not play. You ready? Good is this. I'm gonna try not to cuss. Edson Barboza. He's hurt. That leg kick lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman.
punch by Ferguson. Checks the leg kick, lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, not much set up behind it, the right hook misses. has been there at times, not on that attempt. Ferguson gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can route. Beautiful leg kick throw. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Edson Jr. Barbosa. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ferguson circling towards the left now. Knee strike right to the bottom. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, massive left hand lands. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Left hand punch with the clinch. Barbosa gets the tie clinch here. Oh, big kick lands flush. Oh, straight right. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Round two straight ahead. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, second round now, Tony Ferguson versus Edson Barbosa. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He hate to be over the critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations to it. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make them pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. So as we call on the numbers here, 47 total strikes have now landed for Edson Barbosa. And as for the accuracy rate, DC, 48% tonight against Tony Ferguson. Good punch. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, heavy kick to that lead leg. That'll leave a mark. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He actually goes to an omoplata. Great pressure going forward by the top fighter now. You can certainly count on one hand the number of omoplatas that have been executed in the octagon. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground.
Now let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. He's playing the winner by tap out, Tony So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.